Today, we're making this Halloween gift envelope. It's made with a card sketch of Kendra's Card Challenge 15. And inside it, you find a lot of Halloween tags, which are made with a stamp set from Crafty Stamp Company, formerly known as Copictopia Creative. The stamp set is called Spoopy Treats, and it is one of the four stamp sets you're going to work with at the Boo Camp 2024, which is a virtual retreat. And I will tell you more about it in this video. There's a great price to be won as well, so stay tuned for more information. My name is Julia and I'm an enthusiastic card maker and paper crafter from Austria. Welcome to my channel, Julie's Kreativ Schatzkiste. So this is one of the stamp sets you're going to work with at Boo Camp. In preparation of our project today, I have already printed out all our monster donuts on watercolor paper. I have printed out all the sentiments as well. And then I have used this tag die to create 10 tags on which we are going to put our monster donuts. Additionally, I have cut this envelope, which we're going to put together afterwards, because in here I'm going to put all our monster donuts. And then we're going to make the card front here with sketch number two from Kendra's Card Challenge 15. So I hope you're excited because I'm going to start now. First of all, I'm going to color my monster donuts. So I'm going to put all the other stuff aside for the moment. For watercoloring today, I use my, my watercolor pencils. And I'm just going to start. I also keep a scrap piece of paper at hand just to try out my colors. So that's a good color for my bed, I guess. When you use watercolor pencils, you don't have to color exact with them because you're going to distribute the color evenly with the water anyway. While you watch me coloring, I can tell you more about the North Carolina Crafting Retreat Boot Camp 2024. It's hosted by Copictopia Creative. Copictopia is renaming into Crafty Stamps Company in September, so watch out for the new name. The bootcamp is a virtual event and it takes place on October 19th, 2024. In the description box you will find a link for a page where you can register. Registration is open until September 9th, 2024. There are different ticket alternatives for you for attending bootcamp, depending upon the supplies you want to get. It, if you participate in bootcamp, you get different classes. There are pre-recorded Copic marker and card making classes, and there are live Zoom card making classes on the day of the event. The day of the event will all be live. And there are some prizes to be won at the camp as well. Through the Zoom meetings, you will feel as if you are there with all your friends. There will be someone moderating and posing your questions to the person teaching the class as well. If you book your ticket, you get access to a private Facebook group with unlimited access to all videos and PDFs for the class forever. Doesn't that sound great? And now comes the best part, because this video is part of a giveaway hope. And the prize you can win is the full meal deal for Bootcamp 2024, which means you get the full pack of supplies for the camp. This prize has a value of $178 and was generously donated by Copictopia Creative, aka Crafty Stamps Company. All you have to do for your chance to win this prize and participate in the prize drawing is fill in the giveaway form, which is linked in my description box. The deadline for filling in the form is the 25th of August 2024. In my description box you will also find a link to a playlist, which includes all the other videos participating in this hop. I would really recommend you to check them out, because in these other videos, all the other stamps that will be used at Bootcamp 2024 are shown and used as well.
And as I have my watercolors out here, I have already prepared the strips I will later on use in the card sketch for Kendra's card challenge. This is also cut out of watercolor paper in the exact measurements that are given in the sketch. I will tell you more about Kendra's card challenge a little bit later when we're constructing the envelope. But just let me tell you that for now. It's a quarterly challenge, which is free, and you get 15 unique card sketches out of six sheets of six by six inch patterned paper. Today we're not using patterned paper, instead I'm using the same colors and make my own paper. As you see I have one of the sentiments on these strips and I will also use that in my card sketch. Coloring these strips, I make sure that one sees that it's watercolored by hand. And I want also to have some ombre effect here. Right, that's finished. I need four strips for my card sketch. So as I leave that to dry, I start crafting on my envelope and the card sketch. So as promised, I will tell you more about Kendra's card challenge now. So every quarter, Kendra from the YouTube channel Cards by Kendra provides a free PDF where she gives you 15 card sketches with all the measurements, which can be made out of six sheets, six by six inch patterned paper. And the PDF does not only include the measurements for the sketches, but it also includes a cutting guide for the patterned paper. So you know exactly which pieces of paper you cut out and you know exactly where to put them on your card sketches. In order to participate in the challenge, you have to upload the photo of the 15 cards you made with, with the challenge to the Cards by Kendra Facebook group, which I will also link in my description box. Then there is an album for each month and you can participate once per month, so three times per quarter and per challenge. All you have to do to download this free PDF is join Kendra's Patreon, but it's completely for free. So this, this is the card sketch we're going to make. And on the edge, we are going to have one of the monster donuts. I'm not sure which one yet. So where was I? Ah, Kendra's Patreon. For joining the challenge and downloading the PDF, you just have to join Patreon completely free. There are also paid options for Kendra's Patreon. And you should also check that out because great perks go with them. And this is the possibility for Kendra to keep the challenge free for everyone. I will now glue down my strips of paper on my envelope and I start with the upper one and then I glue down the lowest one because then I can distribute the two in the middle evenly. I use my T-ruler to make sure that they have the same height. By the way, the link to download the PDF is also in my description box, of course. I'm now gluing down all my monster donuts to my tags and then I have to decide which one I put on the front of the envelope. And this envelope with the Halloween tags is perfect as a gift for someone for Halloween because they can add it then to, to Halloween presents and give it out. Alright, then I have the sentiments already cut out as well and I will just put them on the back. Some are too big for the tags but I think, I think it's still okay to use them. So our monster tags are ready and I'm going to finish my front page here and I'm going to use some foam tape for this one just to get some dimension into the whole thing. Alright, now we can put in our tags. And the perfect Halloween gift is ready for someone. I hope you liked my video. If yes, please leave me a like or a comment and tell me what you think about my idea with the Halloween tag gift box. I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already done so. Otherwise, 
Please don't forget to fill in the form linked in my description box for your chance to win the full meal deal for the Boo virtual retreat hosted by Crafty Stamps Company, formerly known as Copictopia. Please check out the link for the event as well in my description box. I'm sure it's great fun and you will learn a lot and you also have the chance to work with these great stamps. I love these monster donuts. So see you next time. Servus.